Let's perform the indicated operation. We have multiplication and again multiplication. We've got a fraction times a fraction times a whole number. Let's go ahead and write that whole number as a fraction. And then how do we work this? It's simply numerator times numerator times numerator. So 14 times 25 times 2 all over denominator times denominator times denominator. 5 times 21 times 1. And then let's see if we can notice any common factors. I know 5 and 25 have a common factor of 5, so I'm going to write 25 as 5 times 5 in a moment. And I know 21 and 14 have a common factor of 7, so let's just write everything as a product of primes so we can see all of those common factors. 14 is 2 times 7, 25 is 5 times 5, and then I have 2. What do we have in the denominator? 5 times 21 is 3 times 7 as a product of primes, and then I have times 1. Now I can see all common factors. There's a common factor of 5, a common factor of 7, and that's all of my common factors. Now let's actually multiply 2 times 1 times 1, that's 2, times 5 is 10, times 2 is 20 in the numerator. In the denominator, I have 1 times 3 times 1 times 1, and that's 3. So my product is the improper fraction 20 over 3. If you'd like, we can write it as an equivalent mixed number. 3 divides into 20 6 times, because 6 times 3 is 18, so I have a remainder of 2 over that original denominator. So my product is 20 over 3, or 6 and 2 thirds.